Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict here at Easterlings Motorsports with a 96 F350 that we're fixing to do a two inch Super Duty reverse shackle front kit on and an 08 to 16 rear spring swap on. Um, most of y'all seen my Bronco. Daniel here actually did quite a bit of fab on it. He did, uh, he chopped and shortened my cage, put my fuel tank in and Bunch of little, uh, numerous other yeah, things and the last 10 percent of the build <laughs> the, that nobody the, wanted to do yeah the the after i hauled it around to 14 different shops anyway um basically i learned through you about you through the grapevine and you're kind of like us you have a passion for what you do um seth i'm sure in a little while we'll do some videos of some of the other cool projects daniel's got going on around here he, he likes to do rock crawlers and custom fab stuff just one-off crazy things so what better place to bring a truck to have the suspension work done than a full-on blown suspension shop he's going to find any knick-knack things that are wrong with it he's going to be able to make anything better we're already using top of the line quality stuff from from sky manufacturing on this build so he has been kind enough to be on camera with us today and uh, he's going to let us shoot inside his shop install the front kit install the rear kit and any other odds and ends things he finds um, You've been in business for how many years now? Uh, at this location, this this September will be three years. So, like I said earlier, you're kind of like us, and you have a passion for what you do, and and you've done lots of other jobs, but you're you're down to doing this, and you enjoy doing this, and yes, and it's kind of one of those things where every day's a new experience. It I, is. I guess yes. coming to work, yes. and it, as y'all can tell, it's it's nice. It's like what 11 o'clock here today, and it's already a thousand degrees yeah. outside. So it shows. The passion you have for doing the business i mean you're out here knuckles deep in this thing already uh, you've already got it on the lift went and been here 30 minutes and you're already tearing the front end apart so i think this is going to be a really cool build you guys stay tuned daniel and his crew here are gonna really transform the look of this truck make it ride a, a whole lot better and just go watch to do a uh, shackle flip in 30 minutes on youtube there you go <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, y'all stay tuned. It's going to be a really cool build. It's going to turn out really great. So, this is a... Uh, we don't trust anybody but the best with our stuff or our customer stuff. So, that's why we're here. And this is why he's taking on this project. He's, he's the best of the best around. So, as always, guys, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay up with the latest content. Uh, obviously, you'll get to see Daniel build this truck. Um, and possibly quite a few other odds and ends things we're all the time texting him asking him about crazy obs projects and he has never turned down one yet so so there's always something interesting going to be going on around this place and uh eventually he's probably going to be like oh stop stop no but anyways but uh as of right now y'all check it out all right so while uh the camera crew was shooting some parts reviews uh dusty and myself went ahead and started to disassemble the front of the truck uh, pretty boring stuff, but uh, just getting out of the way, remove the track bar. Uh, it runs from underneath the oil pan to the passenger side of the axle. It helps keep the axle centered while you're steering. Uh, the factory lease spring, shackles, shocks, uh, stuff like that, getting everything out of the way so we can start putting all the new stuff on. Tech tip, there are four bolts on the front hanger kit that are incredibly difficult to get the nuts on. A little bit of tape, doesn't matter what it is, duct tape, masking tape, put the nut in there. You can stick the nut up where you want to, look through the hole, get lined up right, and start your bolt without having a fit.
we've got all the factory stuff off. We have the new front hanger put in. We've got the rear shackle mounts uh, going in as we speak right now, finishing up the last couple little holes. Uh, really straightforward. The holes are already in the, most of the holes are already in the frame. Uh, you just have to enlarge them. Uh, replacement is very easy to find. Uh, the front requires some drilling. Removing the bumper makes it easier, but if you have short drills or univits, then you can get in there and get most of those. Uh, otherwise, pretty uneventful. So in conclusion, you're going to have to stay tuned to the channel to find out how this truck rides and how it looks after the rear is done. Bye.